Albright, who I think you would agree is an independent expert on all of this, had a, released a report as think tank just a few days ago that said specifically that Iran has to destroy 15,000 centrifuges as part of a final deal to make sure they don't get breakout technology, make sure they don't get nuclear weapons. So my question is, based on President Rouhani saying, we're not, destroy, we're not going to destroy any centrifuges. Well, I think Whether the quote was, again, I don't speak uh, uh, Farsi, but the and again, it matters less to us what they say than what they do, mm -hmm. uh, but we are not is different from we will not. And uh, there is absolutely, no, there is no disagreement no, that well, when it comes to a, not from. under any, will, well, will you destroy centrifuges not under any circumstances? Iran will be required under a comprehensive solution to agree to strict limits and constraints on all aspects of its nuclear program to include the dismantlement of significant portions of its nuclear infrastructure. Now, we are just at the beginning of this process. If Iran fails to comply with the agreements it's made, or if Iran fails to reach agreement with the P5 plus one on a comprehensive solution, uh, we will be in a situation where we have to consider alternate steps to uh, fulfill the President's commitment that Iran cannot be allowed to acquire a nuclear weapon. The point of the negotiations is to see whether or not Iran is serious about coming into compliance and meeting its obligations with its international commitments. On that point, for them to be serious, they would have to accept a deal that would involve the destruction of some centrifuges, correct? The dismantlement of significant portions of Iran's nuclear infrastructure. Again, I'm not going to parse, I'm not going to parse... Uh, specific, centrifuges, not just broad infrastructure. On centrifuges. Yes. Iran does not need nearly the centrifuge capacity that it has today. As, point of the as part of the joint plan of action, Iran committed to leave inoperable roughly half of installed uh, centrifuges at Natanz and three quarters of installed centrifuges at Fordow, uh, so they cannot be used to enrich uranium. As part of a comprehensive solution, we will require that Iran dismantle a significant amount of its nuclear infrastructure related to uranium enrichment. Uh, again, we are at the beginning of a six-month process. Where we are at the end of that process and whether or not a comprehensive solution can be reached uh, is unknown. But it is absolutely uh, the right thing to do, having locked in the joint plan of action and commitments that Iran has made to uh, halt and roll back aspects of its nuclear program, to test whether or not Iran is serious about reaching a comprehensive solution. Because ultimately, the surest way to in to uh, make sure that Iran does not acquire a nuclear weapon is to have Iran's verifiable, transparent commitment not to do that. Um, so that's why the United States and the P5 plus one is pursuing this uh, potential diplomatic resolution to this conflict.